there's a crossover going on in our daily lives. So private and work are blurring together, fun and formal are getting closer. So we want to be able to do anything we want on any moment. We don't work anymore according to certain time slots or whatever, so we work on any moment of the day that we feel like, we have fun or meet friends on any moment of the day that it, it's suitable for us. So we should create spaces that facilitate that and, 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 and provide the right solutions in order for you to do so. I am Erik Jaf Meulen, partner within the design firm Concrete. We are a multidisciplinary design firm, so we do architecture, interior, visual marketing. We don't discriminate between those disciplines. We really try to create the best solution for our projects. I'm Robin Chada, I'm a Chief Marketing Officer for Citizen M. Citizen M, we really focused on the target audience, who are these mobile citizens. And when we started, uh, we found that travel was getting more and more accessible. So I could hop on EasyJet from Amsterdam to Barcelona for 50 pounds. But when I get there, where do I stay? And I want to stay in a place where I have an affinity with the lifestyle, with the local culture. I don't want to be in a very traditional hotel but usually they're very unaffordable. Citizen M is made for the mobile citizens. Uh, part of it is that they carry their laptops and all the devices and the whole, let's say, life is in these devices and the workers in these devices, they just open up the laptop and can obviously work or get connected to the rest of the world on any moment in any place they want to. So the only thing that we try to do is provide spaces where you can do it. So these can be a little bit more active dynamic spaces or we create more silent nooks where you can do some concentrated working. When we started with Citizen M, we started looking at the customer. So what, what is their behavior? How are people working? How are they living? How are they traveling? How are they consuming? So we look at all those trends, and from there we kind of made the design of the hotel. So the living room is, you know, is a crucial part of the formula. So places that you can work, you can have a meeting, you can relax. Our intention was if, if the football game was on, grab a beer, sit on the couch, and watch it with other guests. So more of a communal space, which really works. You really see that happening here in the hotels. The other day I was in our London property in Bankside, a young guy came in, he had a suit and tie on, he took his tie off, took his jacket off. So I figured, okay, he's had a long day work. Then he took his shoes off. I was like, what's he doing? And he hopped on the couch and he started reading a book. Now you would never do that in, a, in any other hotel. You wouldn't feel that comfortable, but because it was like his home, like his own living room, he felt comfortable enough to do that. I think we are creating what we sometimes call transformational spaces. So soft seating, high seating, active seating workplaces. Our life is also way more transformational. So at, at one point you want to sit down, relax, read a book, check your email or whatever. And then another play, at another moment you want to be more at the desk type of situation because you want to do a little bit more of concentrating work. So you don't want to go to a complete different space in order to relax because it goes instantly that you want to sit down and take one of the books out of the cabinet for inspiration. So we, we should provide these different types of seating and spaces close to each other so you can do anything you want on any moment. I think this is going to be a larger blur between residential and hotels. I think the gap between three nights stay and three months stay needs to be filled in. A lot of people are going to a city for like a month because of the exchange between companies or whatever. And, and this is a specific design task because people want to feel at home because you're going to stay there for a month. Uh, they want to get embedded in the local culture because they're going to stay there for a longer period. Uh, and I think hotels really see that as a next design kind of uh, step to take. If I was to sum up design in one word, it would be specific.